Hey, this is Chandra with the God Said Disrupt Prophetic Word. Let us pray so we will be in the spirit to receive what the Father has for us today. Holy Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you that we get to sit at your feet and receive of your knowledge, receive of your word, receive of your love. It is in Jesus' name that we exalt you, O Holy Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you bring forth strong power when you bring forth these revelations. Thank you that I get to sit at your feet and be a witness to all that you have in store for healing and restoration in this hour. It is in your mighty name we pray, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returner, thank you for being here. Thank you for all of your time, your effort, and your energies that you put into being here. Thank you for the likes, shares, and subscribing. Thank you for following. If you've not done so on either platform, I'm on YouTube as well as on TikTok. And so if you are on either of those, please go into the other one and then make sure that you follow me there as well because the Lord is calling us to be um, builders of the house, builders of disciples, and that requires us all to contribute in all ways that we can, that can be done immediately with little effort. In Jesus' mighty name, I'm grateful for your obedience, but I'm also grateful that you're a part of the platform um, that the Lord is sharing in the way that he's sharing in our growth for this season. And so let me jump into the word because the father have brought forth a lot for us to um, receive. And I want to make sure that everyone has their portion today in the mighty name of Jesus. God said October rolling miracles changes everything. And that's our umbrella um, word, a prophetic word that the Lord gives. And know that I'm in prayer to receive our November word that it should show come forth as the Lord is always consistent in providing it to me as I take time to retreat, take time to lean into consecration to receive from him. And you should be doing the same. The Lord will give you word, um, whether it be for a day, for a week, or even for the month. Just know that if you sit in secret place and pray and lean into your prayer time and study time with him, that he will reveal it to you in Jesus mighty name. Amen. I don't know who that was for, but that that specifically was um, he, the Lord brought that forth just in that moment to know someone may have asked or prayed, Lord, how you know what? How do I get the word? How do I understand what you want to bring forth for the month? You spend time in consecration. You spend time in prayer, and then you set aside some secret uh, secret place time to speak to the Lord and um, make it a vow that you're going to show up at that time each month or each week or whatever it is, and He will be there waiting for you. In Jesus' mighty name, that that is that was not a part of the intended word, but I'm going to go ahead and put it, um, leave it because the Lord had brought it forth in this hour. So, as I sit in my new one of my new favorite spots, I'm at, at the fountain uh, because the Lord gave me a word to leave the. Um, I was at Starbucks just sitting and, and listening and just being a part of the 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 scene, and the Lord asked me to go to the fountain, and so I came here. As I did that. He brought forth a word for me. So around 4.09, I um, happened to see a license plate. I immediately gave me a prophetic word. And what I heard in the spirit was queen on path to God's abundance. Queen on path to God's abundance. And so as I looked up the the, the tail end of the license plate, it Hebrew 55, 53, it means fortress, a ragged rock, stony, stronghold. And then God said, heart of hard, rocky soil. God said, Heart of hard rocky soil, and then looking at Greek 5553, it said gold ornament, a gold plating coin, and our time frame um, said not murderer manslayer. Yes, not murderer manslayer is what the the time frame of 409 brought forth, and so our scripture, as we get grounded into spirit with the Lord in this hour, says First Timothy 1 9, knowing this that the law is not made for a righteous person, but for the lawless and the insubordinate, for the ungodly and for sinners and for the unholy, profane, for the murderers of the fathers and murderers of the mothers, for manslayers. God said, you are not known all over the world. You're not known beyond your neighborhood and your friend circle, but you now have this stronghold of being a manslayer so this is for a word for somebody very specific the lord have brought forth to me and there's a little bit of a backstory that i'll share with you in a moment but the word that the lord has brought forth in this hour is that you're not known 
but you now have a stronghold as a that is from being a manslayer so a murderer some some type of kill has happened in your life God said remove the idols of fake goals you imprison yourself keeping tokens for a child that will tarnish even if the items belong to the one no longer walking the earth discard them healing is priority God said your healing is your priority and so as I watched the elderly man um, with a young child and it was a girl about four years old or so that he was putting her in the back seat and then they drove away as the Lord was speaking to me God said you are still worthy to be redeemed I have not given up on your crown as queen you are still worthy to be redeemed you are a child of mine there is purpose yet for you to hold and accomplish God said you are a queen get onto God's path of abundance you must repent and confess bless it bless those who hurt you even the dead can be forgiven God said come to me in secret place come to me at the fountain of restoration come to me at the fountain of forgiveness and mercy healing is possible God said I am the God of impossible I meet you in the impossible yes and so the little bit of the backstory I want to share with you so I'm I was made aware to a situation where um, a young girl in her uh, had a very um, tumultuous relationship and she ended up um, in self-defense as the law deemed it in self-defense she killed um, her boyfriend and they had a child together they had a young child together and so um, just in this season and as I learned of that story I was oh Lord God her story has shifted and so she is going to need healing in such a way that only you can provide and so as the over the the weeks of me being made aware of this i've been whispering prayers soften her heart soften her heart so that she can hear you so she can feel you so that her healing can begin because with it being with a child being involved healing is going to be needed of the mother in order for the child to even have identity understanding of who the father was and, and and how and how the Lord shifted or allowed their story to change right and so when I saw the the license plate that basically said the Queen 5553 it immediately came to my mind as Queen but then as I, I prayed into it and then the Lord brought phone it could be known it could be known 5553 so known manslayer and so but God is saying you're not a manslayer that is a stronghold that is over you that is a demonic presence that has taken captive taken captive of your identity taken captive of who you are because you are a child of God the Lord is saying that you are still being able to re be redeemed even Paul who slayed many of God's children was redeemed he was redeemed and restored and his purpose came to pass and the Lord is saying that you are not any different if I did it for Paul, I can do it for you. If I did it for Paul, I will do it for you. But you have to come to me. You have to come into secret place. You have to pray. You've got to release that hurt. You've got to release that guilt. And you've got to release the stronghold that is over you in the mighty name of Jesus. But it starts with you dismantling the altars that have been set up with that stronghold, with that experience. So you want to purge your spaces, purge any um, artifacts of fake gold or even real gold any items that belong to that that situation or came out of that situation you want to start fresh the Lord is saying because in doing so you strip down all of the barricade that the enemy is using to keep you imprisoned in the mighty name of Jesus you had to endure some things in your in this season but know that the Lord has a whole new season for you. The Lord has a whole new journey for you. Our Father wrote your wrote your story so he can rewrite your story when you rededicate your life to him, rededicate your time and your energy and efforts to to understanding your relationship with him. You then will be able to build a relationship for your daughter and your family or your or, or whoever this your child is because in this situation it was a little girl that was I was seeing before me. But know that the Lord has a story for the little girl that is inside of you mm, that that right there Lord God thank you the Lord says that little girl inside of you is wounded and she needs to be healed in order for your adult self to be healed and raised to being a queen 
the Lord God is calling you in this hour. And I, 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 I'm, I'm feeling this so deeply because that the, the, uh, the um, person that it, this came, this information that came to me in, in real life, this, this young girl, the Lord, I pray for her as I'm praying for whom all who hear this, because it may not just be one. It could be many of you who are sitting in a situation that you were a part of a situation that involves someone dying. And it may not be that you specifically were the person that took life, but know that you could be just affected by it in the name of Jesus, because the enemy doesn't just attack one. He attacks one and it spreads like a virus, right? And so you want to know that first Timothy one, nine, while the Lord is saying the law may have cleared you, you want to be spiritually cleared if you are a child of God and the Lord is saying that you are. He has a story to rewrite for you. So you want to come into the spirit. You want to spend time with your father and start your healing process. Hallelujah. I pray that this reaches the intended persons. I pray that this reaches those who need to hear it. Um, to help those maybe you are at a loss for words to share with someone but know that the Lord has called forth healing is a priority in the mighty name of Jesus healing is a priority God said you are still worthy to be redeemed and he has not given up on you there's yet a purpose for you and that means that you have to get onto God's path of abundance you have to get on his path of healing so that you can do so and you, that requires you to repent and confess to the father you want to bless those who hurt you even if even if it's the dead you want to the dead can be forgiven the father says hallelujah oh he's such a good father to give us answers even in the most impossible seeming situations Yes, God said, come to the fountain and I will surely satisfy. Come to the fountain and I will surely satisfy. Pray uh, that all demonic strongholds in the name of Jesus are torn down in this hour, that the restoration waters of the Father lifts you to a place where you can sit at his feet and ask for forgiveness and ask for healing for yourself and for those that have come against you, that you release everything that is demonically held, that you release that stronghold that is binding you in the name of Jesus, all altars, all things bow to the feet of the Father in the mighty name of Jesus that your grace and your abundance is awaiting you in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and decree freedom for you. I declare and decree healing for you. I declare and decree that a raising of your spirit to be in the identity that the Lord God have given you is waiting. It is yours. Receive of it in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 We thank you, Father. We thank you. If you feel connected to this prophetic word in the spirit, please present your offerings to the Father. If it is your time of receiving, you may leave your first fruits through the details that are in the description. Uh, really quickly hit the super thanks or use the cash app or the PayPal link that is in the description bo and box. And no, you don't need cash app or PayPal to do a first fruit offering and for all in obedience to God through sowing back to this word and so that I may be um, in a place to acknowledge you by name I give God all the honor and the praise and the worship and for the offerings that were submitted by LaShawn D and Lolita D may you find them pleasing father God that you may find them pleasing that of all the heavens and earth that you receive the offerings that are coming through this ministry and through the works that you are doing here in this hour Yes, he is so good, y'all, and worthy to be praised. So let us offer the salvation prayer to those and to everyone, including this person or persons. If this is your, uh, your, this is your window to start in your repentance, you want to give your life to Christ to start over, to be refreshed, and knowing that the Lord has abundance for everyone, for any situation, in all situations. Hallelujah! And so Romans ten nine through ten, give giving your life to Christ is where you want to start. That's your very first step. Let us pray this simple prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Jesus, that we repent of our sins today and that because I get to repent of my sins, Lord God, I thank you. I believe that you suffered, died and rose to heaven to save me in everlasting life with you. I believe in your word that you're coming again to judge all and that your kingdom will never end. I believe that you gave me everlasting covenant as a New Testament to your love for me. And today I receive it and I accept it. I turn away from Satan, sin, and the grave. I will follow you, Jesus, now and forevermore. Amen. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you pray that very simple prayer, know that the Lord sees you in the light of Jesus. He sees you walking in redemption. He sees you as a child of God. And so you may spend time praying to the Lord in this hour. And in this window, you want to pray Psalms 91. You want to put a hedge of protection around yourself. Know that the Lord is lifting you up. His angels are there to minister to your heart. Because if your heart is in that place of rocky soil, it may be very fragile. It is very fragile. You want to know that you're cared for. The Lord God loves you dearly. He loves you. Child of God, he loves you. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for your grace and mercy today. Thank you for the wisdoms that you've given and the revelations that you brought forth. Thank you that even in the hard messages, we get to sit together at your feet and receive your light. Oh, King of glory, be lifted high forever and ever. And amen. Ah, oh, y'all, he's so good. Mm, he's so good, y'all. He's so good. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And make sure you, as you do so, you leave your offerings in the in the box. Blessings and favor to each of you for listening and witnessing and sharing in the Lord's word by sharing it forth. I decree and declare, God said, go forth to supernaturally operate, live, and witness in Jesus' name for his glory, y'all. Hallelujah. Yes, it is so.